channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. Um, in case you're new here, I am Sandra. I am so excited to be welcoming you guys to my tutorial today. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. It, this is, again, once all Dollar Tree crafting stuff. And I finally, finally found the Holy Grail. I finally found the Jenga blocks that have been all over the Dollar Tree crafting Facebook page, but I have ever yet to find. I finally found them. And I'm a little confused because, so I did find them and I pulled that stunt where I'm like, I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch, I don't care. Like, um, so I did buy this size, but then right next to it was the Mega Pack. And I'm just like, where's more of the Mega Pack? And so beggars can't be choosy, but I was super thrilled to find this big one, which has 72 pieces as opposed to this one that only has 36. Um, so yes, I have been dying to make this craft. It again is very budget friendly and we are going to be using some magnets. Oh, these are, these are actually pretty strong these little magnetic buttons that you can get from, again, the Dollar Tree. We're gonna be using a Dollar Tree calendar. Yes, we are finally gonna be doing a craft with these. Um, I hate to say this, but I don't know what all the rage is. <laughs> don't strike me dead right now. Um, I do, I like all of the stuff on the calendar, I really do. I really think all of this is cute but I just never knew why the calendar was the thing. But today we're gonna make it a thing because we are going to make little mini magnets with the calendars using our Jenga blocks. Um, I'm super excited to get this started, so let's point the camera down and get going on this super fun craft. All right, so I have, um, I do have a couple of Cricut tools. I'm gonna kind of scooch those out of the way because I wanna try to stay as budget friendly as possible. Um, I do want to say that a lot of the items that you see me use, um, I get from the thrift store. I buy the stuff that people are giving away in a yard sale. One pa one person's trash is another woman's treasure. It is my treasure. So um, I don't, I recommend if you're like, ooh, I want that. Look at your local thrift store, go to garage sales, look online in your community, ask people because a lot of times, you know, People have a ton of crafting stuff that they don't use. I never understood that, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm often grateful for those people. Um, so let me just get a seat, look at my little apron that I made. But um, again, Dollar Tree, this is a uh, cutting mat. So we're gonna be using this because what we're going to do is we're gonna actually use the back page. Now, let me go ahead and just cut this back page off and we're gonna make some super cute, I still have that little cardboard piece in there just so the calendar doesn't get all warped and whatnot. So we're just gonna cut off this back page because this is what we're gonna be using. So try to cut it, you know, carefully. And then we're just gonna toss that to the side. And oh, that is very cute. Maybe I might use <laughs> this uh, Christmas. Maybe this will be a Christmas craft. Who knows? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each one of these little squares, we're gonna cut them out. I know it seems tedious. I saw this and I was like, I'm totally doing this. That's, so this is the one craft that I saw that I was like, yes, like I need a calendar. So with a steady hand, you know what? I don't have the steady hand that a lot of people do. So I am going to cheat. A little bit I do have a paper cutter thingy you know like you would use in school or in an office or something but I'm just gonna use my handy dandy ruler dollar store um, and I'm just gonna like line this up to the best of my ability and try to cut this straight so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out oh god I feel the pressure is on with you guys watching <laughs> so I'm like oh my god All right, I think I did it. 
And yes, my little um, scalpel, yeah, that's right, scalpel, um, again from the Dollar Tree. This thing has come, come in handy a lot. I am actually uber thankful that I found this little dealio. Um, so I highly recommend it. Okay, maybe if I do it this way, I don't feel like I'm doing it blind then. It's not stiff. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna have 11 <laughs> instead of 12. <laughs> I, as I'm like watching myself cut, I'm like, good Lord, Sandra, you're like not even cutting it straight. So we're just gonna go on to the next one. Thank God there's 12, right? And then cut this one. I'm trying to keep it pressed up against the um, the ruler as much as possible. Okay, that cut. It might be just easier for me to get um, my scissors. So I want it right here and I want to keep it. All right, we're just going to roll with this. I'm not going to try to cut another one. This is why I have one of those paper cutters, you know, like the... Oh, and yes, I bought it at a yard sale, I want to say for like $2. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do this. Maybe I should have pre-cut a bunch. Okay, this is going to work. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fly. So what you're going to do is you're going to take three three Jenga blocks and you're going to ever so carefully add a little bit of glue. Don't do a whole bunch because when you go to squeeze it together, it's going to ooze out and you could possibly burn your fingers. So just, you know, just kind of like give it a little bit of glue and wood glue works perfect with this. I'm just going to be using hot glue for the purpose of this tutorial and just, you know, press down as hard as you can any glue starts to bulge out just kind of wipe it away if you can all right one more all right there and another little thing now even if this calendar this one particular one doesn't come out perfect I'm going to say that I, when, like I said, I, I saw this craft and I was like sold. You could do them with pictures, with anything that you want. Now, I'm just going to let you know, these, dollar store, cannot complain. These are not going to be perfectly even at times. Look at that, my loves. We are going to Mod Podge this on. And why I totally did not think of that. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge at this moment and we are going to paint away. So I think, so this is like a hair bigger. So if you follow the exact outline of the calendar, and I don't feel so bad with that other one, you're still going to have a little bit left over like this. Okay. I think I'm going to wait till after I Mod Podged it just so it's like secure on there before I um, dollar store. I splurged Walmart. Um, before I cut the edge and this is just a matte one. Um, they have glossy. It just depends on what finish you like. And if you don't care, then just grab whatever you see. All right. So can I get this on here like this? Just paint your little block, get, you know, get enough on there. And we're gonna lay this little beauty down. Ah. I'm gonna lay this down, but I'm also gonna flip it over because when I go to cut it, you know, at the later point in time after this dries, I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna cut off any important parts. So I'm just gonna press it down. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this craft. 
they thought you would have thought that I won the lottery when I was in um the Dollar Tree and I spotted these I was like oh my god and little did they know it was all due to Django blocks okay so now I'm pressing really hard onto this block I just spit it onto the block and I'm just going along the edge as close as I possibly can to cut any excess um, paper off. And just like I said, I think this would be super cool to do with like photos or um, drawings. Oh, like if you, if your kid draws you something, I mean, this is a great way to, um, you know, create magnets of all kinds. Now I know with photos, you can't just necessarily throw some Mod Podge on top of it and, and call it good. But um, I'm sure we could figure out a way. But I think that's why I'm so in love with this idea because I just think it's super cute, um, very, very budget friendly, and you can customize those. I love things that are so um, universal, I guess is what it is that I'm liking. All right, and just one little snag. Okay, so I got it cut. I went around the edges. I'm just now going to go over and just do a little bit. Now, like I said, the, um, the, uh, wood pieces are not completely even. So there, it, it does have like a little bit of a gap, but I'm hoping that this Mod Podge is going to just adhere to it really well and it'll still look good. And th the great thing is, is when you're doing something farmhouse-esque, you know, vintage-y kind of whatever, you want it to be a little bit off. You want it to have that little bit of character. Um, so this is starting to bubble up right there. So it's not too shabby. And I'm just gonna go along the edges, kind of like just to seal it all in. And this will eventually dry clear. So you don't have to worry that if you get it on the edges, that it's going to stay white. And I'm just go and go over it slow because you don't want to rip this paper. It is somewhat of a delicate paper, but okay. Here's what we have so far. Tell me that this is not stunning. <laughs> I swear. The littlest crafts make me so gosh darn happy. And I'm so thankful for that. Um, all right, so I'm gonna let this dry, which shouldn't take too long because it is yet another toasty day here in Lakeport, California. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just kind of set my little paintbrush there. And I'm just gonna start this kind of a, um, assembly line where you're just gonna do just a bunch of, oh, okay, the head writing on it so, kind of threw me off there for a second, but I'm still going to use it, but it just, I was like, oh, wait, hold on. There we go. And I know, I know somehow, some way we are going to be doing this, um, kind of craft for, um, Christmas for sure. And so if you can get your little paws on some Jenga blocks, even if you have to raid your kids's like <laughs> uh, stash, do it. This is going to be so cute. And get them to do this with you. Okay. All right. That's more that one kind of evened out just a hair. So we'll do one more and then we're going to cut out a couple more and then I am going to paste them on here. Um, kind of the same process, but if you're like, you know what? I, I don't mind if this tutorial is just a hair longer than stick with me. Or if you've already grabbed your purse and you're like, I'm heading to the dollar store. I need to find Jenga blocks. I ain't hating on you. <laughs> Good luck. I totally feel you because that's what I did when I saw that tutorial. I'm like, um, I'll be right back. I got to go somewhere. I got to go get Jenga blocks. 
<laughs> so <laughs> don't worry. And there we go. All right, I'm just grab like wiping that excess glue off of the top. And uh, you know what, since I know that this doesn't have to be 100% perfect, let me just find one of the cutest ones and just cut it as best as I can. And thankfully this isn't like something big that I have to cut. So I, I think I can get two cuts in a row that are even. Let's see, I don't know why I was worried so much. And the, the magnets are at the Dollar Tree. I mean, what is it? There's like 36. I mean, you can almost do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Shut up. So, okay. my I'm terrible at math. So you probably already figured it out. But one block of. Jenga blocks what I mean yeah one full block thing will do all 12 months that's right you heard me one whole box will do one or all 12 months of the back of the calendar and get this bam there's 14 in here we're talking about a three okay then you had to buy your Mod Podge all right so three four dollars for 12 magnets I'm sorry but that is a screaming deal I am all about that um I think I'm even more excited now because of what I just discovered it's like the the light bulb was flickering above my head I knew that this was even better than it seemed and then the light bulb has just come on so I'm like wait a minute this is, oh, I should probably, before I do that, cut one more. And so now I'm going to be looking. I wonder if you, oh, there's a Christmas one right there. Okay. I'm going to be looking for a Christmas calendar now. And it don't even have to be from the dollar store. Because I know, like, towards the end of the year, they're just trying to offhand any, you know, calendars from that they have left over from the year. So um, maybe I can find... A good one maybe hallmark i don't know if hallmark carries calendars there is a hallmark that is like right up the road for me that i visit often um as expensive as it is i am just one of those people that just i can't help myself and i do buy on sale but i just love going in there it's just it's just a thing the thing that I do. All right. As you can see, I squeezed way too much Mod Podge on here. So I'm trying to just spread it, spread the love. And voila. And voila. All right. And let me just do what I do best by flipping this over, pushing down. Flipping over, pushing down. I'm telling you, I can't wait to do more of these. Oh. So yeah, this is all completely from the dollar store. So I think the other Mod Podge one, the one that our first magnet, I think that one's done. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to adhere the magnet to it and maybe find it a cute home on your refrigerator or gift it to someone. I would be so thrilled if I got magnets like this. Um, I did one time have my friend, oh my gosh, she made me coasters with pictures of my cat on them. I still, to this day, it's like one of my most favorite gifts hands down and she now has a cricket oh this is starting to please be good oh it started to kind of like shred on the side and um 
and she's making incredible things right now and I'm just like just so in awe I can't wait to make some of the stuff that she's made so maybe I'll get something cool <laughs> at some point in time all right so there we go and I hope everybody has access to these calendars that's another thing are there still like super cute calendars available at your local Dollar Tree um, I was very shocked to still find these in my local Dollar Tree because I just bought these. Are these? Oh, this is 2022. I didn't know what year these were for. Um, but um, yeah, I was very shocked to find the farmhouse ones because like I said, they're usually completely sold out. And so I never even bother because people come in and buy these things by the case they just grab the whole box and then that's it <laughs> you're just standing there watching and so um yeah I was super excited all right y'all just kind of do the little bit of the edge just to conceal to seal it in so just go around the little edge that's it I guess I can just lay them right there All right, Dollar Tree for the win. Let's pop up these bad boys. And these are actually pretty strong magnets. I was, you know, I was pretty surprised. Doop, doop. what Ugh, I'm just still like just so happy look at little magnets jenga blocks calendar pieces i mean this calendar is kind of like what are they like the pig like where you use every little bit on it <laughs> like nothing goes nothing's gonna get wasted on this calendar because you're gonna use all the little square thingies um the little back calendar display piece um things like this and you're gonna make magnets amazing so now i'm just gonna let okay that's pretty sick now i'm just gonna let this dry i'm gonna pop a magnet on it and that is today's craft Ta -da. <laughs> all right guys that is it like that is it i'm still waiting for these little cutie patooties to dry but look at how cute let me grab the other one look at how cute these are i know that they have the little bubble in them i don't care i made these i made these people are going to come into my house and go girl where'd you get your magnets let me tell you I'm bust out a calendar and show you how look at that so cute i'm about to put the little things on these are definitely going on my um my uh refrigerator like I said time and time before decorating does not have to be expensive you can fool the eye and make a ton of stuff super cute um for a buck a whole dollar four dollars and if you splurge and get the paintbrush from Walmart you're out another probably 50 cents um but this kind of stuff is right up my alley I hope you guys enjoyed this video I it's been I'm assuming this is all over the internet because I am so far behind in um, calendar crafts, but I promise now that I have them, I've been kind of playing around, watching tutorials, and I'll bring them to you because I know we have kind of like have the people that we like to watch. Um, so I will bring them to you. If you have a craft and you want to show me, head on over to my Instagram account, Sandra Campos underscore 79. You can be my friend over there. Send me your pictures, especially like if you're like, hey, I've been doing calendar crafts forever and then this is what I um, want to show you. Do it because I need to be inspired. I need to learn. I need to know why these are like gold at the Dollar Tree. So um, so yeah, do that. And of course, I almost said all right. And of course, make sure that you're liking this video because like I said in my last tutorial, 
This is like your way of speaking to me without using words. You hit that like button, it's free, it tells me I want more of this and I will keep bringing it your way. I'm gonna keep watching tutorials. I've got people sending me all kinds of stuff like, oh, check out this thing and check out that thing. And I'm like, okay, what is speaking to my heart? And let me bring it to the people. But um, I saw this and I was like, yes. Oh my God, where has this been all my life? Love, love, love it. You can stain the wood as well if you decide to do that. I mean, we did it, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy, but you can get real creative with this. I mean, you can create a frame. Ooh. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, I'm like, ooh, can we create a frame? Like you can get like, you can create some kind of a frame. Hmm. That might be my next move. You can get, you can do all kinds of stuff with this and have magnets for every dang season. I'm going to be cutting up every calendar that I see from now on. Um, so anyways, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you're hitting that notification bell because you don't want to miss this stuff. Um, and yeah, just, just comment, like, subscribe, head on over to my Etsy shop. If you want to see some of my, um, handcrafted items that I have for sale and I will see you guys again in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching and yes, have a fabulous week.